in recent times, my life has been going through a lot of changes, a lot of uh, positive things, negative things, things to be excited about, and just a whole lot of things. And so in an effort to not lose myself in the midst of all these things, I've been trying to become more defined in who I am and uh, my pursuits and, and, and how I want to be defined. And so today I want to talk about the five passions that I have, the five things that drive me. And, uh, and, and when I was listing them out, I realized that they fall into this uh, sequential A, B, C, D, E uh, uh, order. And I was like, that's pretty cool. So I'll just talk about them in terms of, you know, what comes first. So uh, what is A? A is uh, has been my earliest uh, passion since uh, I can remember. It... Um, Although I've been in the field of medicine and medical and this just medical endeavors, uh, what I wanted to be um, up until the sixth grade was an astronaut or an astronomer at the very least, something in the field of uh, just astronomy. Um, and that kind of shifted when I saw the uh, movie Apollo 13. Um, when, when they were out in outer space and running out of oxygen and they had to like build these um, th these apparatuses fairly quickly in order to not suffocate and I was like oh crap and also th like the community and environment and that I was in didn't actually you know it didn't support it didn't encourage the pursuit of something like astronomy uh, or, or for me to become an astronaut or something of that nature um, you know, I I was in like the pre-med pathway because that's what people knew. That was something that was revered. But ultimately, like I wanted to become an astronaut. I, I went to the library and immediately I went to the, uh, you know, sections on astronomy, the planets. And, and just that fascinates me still to this day. I watch documentaries like late at night just about uh, the cosmos, the universe, its origins and, and how we were created from from the dust of stars and just I wish I could do that like you like, but unfortunately like you know I have to like go to school and other stuff but th I have a passion for that and and as a memento or not a memento but as a token towards that passion I've decided that I'm going to outer space um I I know like right now there's uh those um you know tickets to go to outer space um there's a virgin uh virgin uh, Galactic is uh, something that uh, the Virgin uh, Airline Companies is uh, creating for space tourism. Uh, I know that's fairly expensive right now, but ultimately I do want to go to outer space uh, at some point in my life. And uh, as as the cost of that is decreasing, um, I'm preparing myself to do that. And, and that's definitely something something that's actually on my wall to go to outer space. Second thing that I want to talk about is another early passion. I used to ride my bicycle to high school for three years. Uh, the last year of high school, I didn't go to high school. I went to a community college to do a year of college there. Um, but for the first three years of high school, I uh, rode my bicycle there. And um, there were windy days, uh, sunny days, rainy days, cold days early mornings on winter days but I rode my bike uh, even like sometimes you have to wear like professional clothes with a shirt and a tie and a lot of things I went through um, but but I, I used to enjoy riding my bike um, I used to um, I, used, I used to be laughed at a lot I guess also uh, because I was like for a long period of time I was the only person in high school who rode their bicycle and uh, you know, nobody laughed at people, you know, who walked because there's a lot of people who walked, but only one person rode their bicycle and everybody, like, I used to go to class and people were like, hey, I saw you on your bike. Like, I was like, what do you want me to do about that? Like, that's, okay, that's great. You know, like, they felt like they needed to point that out for whatever reason. But anyway, I used to pedal really hard and then pretend it was a motorcycle. I used to, um... I think that if I if I could ride my motorcycle, or if, if I could ride a motorcycle to high school, that people wouldn't, they they wouldn't, they would not just not laugh at me, but they would also, kind of maybe think that I was, 
not cool, but like better than not being a. I felt like a foreigner, really, uh, riding a, a bicycle to school, like you know. But but I felt like I'd I'd, I'd have more confidence. I'd be a much more um, complete and ex more accepted person if I rode my bicycle. And uh, thankfully, to, the, to this day, I have. I like I, I recently. Less than a year ago, purchased my first motorcycle, and then I am thoroughly living the dream that I fantasized about. One other point about the motorcycle: at that point in life, I, although not having a motorcycle, I pretended I had a motorcycle. I did a like a ton of research on what motorcycle I would get, and and I also named my motorcycle and. Now I have that exact brand, that exact color, that exact model, and its name is what I named it to be um, so many years ago, and, and I'm, I'm living that right now. So that has been fulfilled, but it's only a 250cc engine. I'm hoping to go up to a 600 sometime within a year from now, but I'm trying to just enjoy that. But her name, by the way, is Ninja Sophie. Um, third uh, passion of mine that starts with the C now uh, is culinary. I absolutely love the art, the beauty, the creativity of cooking and I have this insatiable passion for that. Uh, one that hasn't really been explored professionally. I'm hoping to actually go into that endeavor where I explore it professionally and not, not to actually you know like be a chef forever but just to learn and master um, the art of cooking, the skill of cooking and add that to my arsenal and be able to host parties, host gatherings and and, and you know like orally pleasure my friends um, and stuff. Uh, so I've, I've even gone to the point of actually calling culinary schools and asking them questions, asking if I can meet up with them and all this other stuff. Looking at uh, online uh, culinary schools um, in terms of, you know, videos and other stuff, which, which I've, I've found some and whatnot, but that is something that I want to do. I want to eventually own my own restaurant, um, own several restaurants. That's, again, something that's on my wall. And the motorcycle thing, the exact brand of the 600cc is also on my wall. Um, so culinary thing, wanting to own my restaurant, uh, several restaurants and, and, and stuff. So I really look forward to that. Can you imagine going to eat with your friends at your restaurant? That is mind blowing. That's like, that's gonna be the most wonderful feeling. I, that, that's gonna be awesome. Um, fourth passion starts with a D, um, is the place where I ultimately want to live and uh, be in paradise. Uh, that place is in the Middle East. It is in the United Arab Emirates, a place known as Dubai, the uh, central capital of, of what is becoming the capital of the uh, urban, not urban, but like the modern, the modern world. Uh, I know that used to be like, you know, New York and Tokyo and, and stuff like that, but Dubai has really been creative and out there and, and, and if it, it, it's like where I would fit in with the creativity, with the way they dream and the way like their ambition is, it's where I fit in. And plus, more than anything, I want to go skydiving in Dubai. A picture of that is, two pictures of that is, that is actually on my wall. Um, there's a picture over there, I don't know if you can see. Uh, it has the Burj Al Arab, the seven-star hotel in Dubai, and I have a bigger poster of um, an actual suite. I want to go into. I want to go into that specific suite in there. Let me see if I can show that to you. Um, is that suite right there? That one right there. That's a bed. That's like a purple room bed thing. Um, and in that picture right there is the Burj um, Al Arab. Um, the seven star hotel. So I want to go into that specific suite of that specific hotel and I want to live not at the hotel because that's really expensive but I want to live in that city. Um, also the bed rotates 360 degrees so that could be a lot of fun. Um, Dubai that's where I want to live. Uh, the 
fifth thing starts with an E, and that is entrepreneurship. Um, I heavily dread the concept, the thought, the the bane of my existence is working for corporate America. Um, and and like I don't know how in the world my father did that for uh, 22, 20, more than that, more than that. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Probably like 25, 1996, a long time, like 24 to 25 years. Uh, I don't know how in the world he did that. I, um, I, I recently, like, I worked for Walgreens for, uh, for like a month and I was just tired of it, like as a pharmacy tech. I was simply tired of it and then I realized, wait a second, I am 22, the pharmacist that I'm working with is like 40 something years old. This guy is on his feet, this guy is handling angry customers, irate customers, customers that need their medications and stuff. How, like, what kind of respect did he get from, you know, going to four years of pharmacy school and now having to deal with this stuff? That's not how, like, the, the field of medicine was idolized like that's not how I idolized it um, how, I guess I romanticized what it would be like to be a doctor how amazing would it be but the reality of things is that once you step into the world of you know the hospital and you see the paperwork the bureaucracy all this other stuff they have to deal with it is like it, it's it's over glorified really it is um, so anyway, I, I, the entrepreneurship is, you know, being my own boss. I, I have a problem with authority, I guess, uh, or something. I, I feel like I should be my authority. Sometimes I don't even listen to my own authority. So, uh, I do have a problem with that. Um, but I, I do want to be my own, uh, whatever. Um, I want to control my own life. I don't believe in destiny. I create whatever it is that I want. And I want the sole right to my life. I don't want anyone to be able to tell me to come to somewhere by 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to have to call in sick days. I just cannot do that. I don't want to be on my feet. But so the, the, the entrepreneurship stuff, it's, it's also amazing because it's like I'm not doing it alone. I'm doing it as a team. I'm doing it together. I'm doing it with my friends. And that is just beautiful so those are my top five passions in life um i don't know what yours are but maybe you should take the time to write them down kind of explore those maybe you can take uh, a moment or not moment like a couple of days it took me to create my wall of aim follow my dreams and all those things that i said each one of those are on the wall if not multiple pictures of each of them but i wanted to share that with you because i care about you knowing my dreams basically so um Anyway, uh, hopefully, well, that, that was actually more for me than it was for you, but uh, just, just when you're done with this video, just think about what are your top five passions and, and are you on a path to getting to those? Um, and, and for me, I have a constant reminder every time I walk into my room as to where I'm going. I have direction. I have a pursuit. I know what I want to end up. I know I want to end up in Dubai. I know I want to go to outer space. I know I want a, a Yamaha R6 specific color and everything. Um, I know that I want to be my own boss. I know, what was the other thing I said? Um, a, astronaut, B, what was B? Uh, oh, the motorcycle stuff. C was culinary, oh, the culinary school stuff. Yeah, I do know. There's pictures of restaurants and stuff on here. So, have direction but before we can do that you need to write out your your passions in life and then pursue them heavily every day take care